20 of the SOS Free Challenge. I do have to say that I am guessing that I am not going to make this one a full 30 day challenge. We'll see tomorrow. Finish out 21 days for sure. But I'm pretty sure that my weight has actually gone up again, just based on how my clothes feel. So, um, seeing as this whole lifestyle challenge is supposed to be about sustainability and whether or not I can actually like make this a lifestyle <clears throat> um, yeah this is I'm definitely not going to be on any kind of a lifestyle where I am constantly gaining weight so um, yeah no anyway we'll see what tomorrow brings I just wanted to chat with you real quick I brought um, I asked my mom this morning if she would please make me some spaghetti sauce spaghetti sauce and um, a spaghetti squash which actually I'm not sure if my husband I think that my mom must have made the spaghetti squash because it was in one of her containers not one of our containers when I was scooping it out tonight so um, I'm gonna turn this off here for a second so anyway so I had a container with spaghetti squash a layer of spaghetti squash and then a layer of um, let's just call it like marinara sauce of some sort whatever you want to call it it's fabulous. It is so good. My mom is such a good cook. Oh my goodness. I've tried multiple times to do the same thing and been unsuccessful each time. Excuse me. I can tell that there is no sugar in it whatsoever. Um, and I can tell that there is no salt in it whatsoever. So she did a fabulous job making it taste really good without doctoring it and adulterating it with the SOS Trinity. So thanks mom. Appreciate it. Love you. And um, yeah, I'm really actually excited about that. So, you know, it, it's kind of hard with this whole diet thing. You gotta find stuff that you're excited about and that you really enjoy and that you like, and it's kind of hard to do. Um, but maybe if I cooked as well as my mom did, <laughs> maybe it would be a little easier. I don't know. So, that is one of her specialties, though. She has always made anything Italian taste really, really, really good. She's good with onions and peppers and that kind of stuff. So anyways, I've got that, and I've got a salad and an apple, and I need to run to the store and get some bananas. So that's the start of my evening. Um, I didn't get nearly enough sleep. Um, hmm, weird. Some of these little lights are, you can see that, can't you? The little lights are flashing. Anyways, um, I didn't get nearly enough sleep. We had somebody come in and work on the um, internet cable today, and cable? Is that what it would be called? Yeah, anyway, the cables, wires themselves. And so hopefully it will be, um, hopefully, cross your fingers, upload speeds will be better. Um, this week it really doesn't matter because I just upload stuff right after midnight at work and I don't actually, like, I don't actually spend time working on this at work. Um, I just literally turn the computer on and push the button and let it do its thing. So I'm not actually working on other stuff at work. I just let my computer do it um, on their upload speed. Not sure if there's a cop behind me or not, so I'm gonna turn that off. So I'm just gonna let you guys go because now it's dark and I can't see anything hardly and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, today is day 20 and I am not sure that we're gonna make it past day 21, but we'll see tomorrow what the scale says whether or not we're going to just call this one a, a fail or if we're still doing okay. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Okay guys, so I had to tell you some things. So my husband made me a smoothie. Um, totally normal smoothie. S same brand of mango, frozen mangoes as always. Um, orange juice like always. Same bag of spinach as always. Turmeric black seed same smoothie always makes I haven't had one in like a week so I have to say that this diet is apparently effective for neuroadaptation of uh, senses for sure um, it's obviously not doing anything for my weight in terms of helping me to lose weight however um, yeah my smoothie is way too sweet like holy cow way too sweet so I just thought that was interesting and something that I would share with you that 
Um, yeah, I did not expect that um, at all, that my drink would be so sweet that I borderline don't want to drink it. I'm, I mean, I, I like the flavor, but it's kind of one of those, whew, that's really sweet kind of things. Um, yeah, so interesting. I Honestly, I did not expect that. I didn't expect that was sweet. I did expect that was salt. Um, and actually, that that did happen when I was making um, the spring rolls with the peanut butter sauce. No, it wasn't that. What was I doing with peanut butter? Oh, when I made the peanut butter pasta, the one pot pasta, um, Anthony was putting more peanut butter on his because it wasn't quite peanut buttery enough. And so um, the spoon was out and I just stuck my finger on it and licked it off. And yeah, his peanut butter is really salty. Like, ugh, salty. Um, and I used to love that peanut butter. So that actually really, really did surprise me. Um, I expected at some point in time for things to be a little bit saltier, but I didn't expect it to be to that degree. And his peanut butter has less than 2% salt in it. So, nee, it's not a whole lot of sodium. But yeah, it definitely tastes salty. So, but yeah, my smoothie's like psycho, psycho, psycho. Yeah, super, super, super sweet. So that's all I wanted to tell you. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I took a quick picture of the food that my mom made for me. Put it up here so that you can see it. It is so, so, so good. It's delicious. Um, I have something on my face and it's not a zit for sure. I either have a mosquito bite or a spider bite, but it is hot and it's red and it hurts and it's gross. I don't know what it is, but anyway, that's very exciting for me. I'll deal with that. Um, and I get home, maybe put some hydrocortisone cream on there or something, see if I can get that swelling to come back down. I don't know. Anyway, so I had the squash with the spaghetti saucy type stuff on it, and it was really good, and it didn't last very long because it's been three hours and I'm starving again. So I'm going to eat my salad, which is right here. So anyways. I'm going to go ahead and eat my salad and um, I'll probably be hungry when I get home again because that'll only be like, that'll be about four hours from now. So anyway, uh, just a quick update. Me and my bug bite. It's very hot. Very, very hot. Very unpleasant. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, so my incredibly itchy bug bite and I are home and I'm going to make some banana oat milk for the boys for their breakfast and... I am going to eat something. I will find something to eat, I'm not sure what. Either rice or oatmeal, I don't know yet. And go to bed right away, because I'm really, I have a really sore throat and I'm really tired. Um, I need to work with Preston on his, um, my oldest, on his gifted, talented literature class, but I can do that this afternoon when I get up. So I'm gonna do that instead. So, that's it, that's the rest of my day. And I will have a short video today, sorry. Um, but I'll talk to you guys again on day 21. Tonight is a weigh-in night. Nee. Nee. <laughs> Not exciting at all. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.